Alrighty, what's up everybody? Uh, popper update number 15. Uh, this one's going to be coils, as you can see on my screen. And also, I'm going to be adding some footage of me doing some very interesting things with the popper and air and a little bucket. Um, and also some cans. Um, I was actually debating whether or not wanted I, if I even wanted to put that footage on a video, but it's hilarious. So let's get through the coil making, and then we'll move on to that part, which you you won't want to miss. It's very interesting. Oh yes. Uh, I'm about to pour some epoxy on this. I'm prepared, I'm ready to go. We're gonna see what happens. So I'm just gonna show you me doing it. So here's what I've got. I got a bucket with ice, with a bucket with silicone on the outside, with a coil, with a bucket with the ice and weights to hold it down in case the epoxy wants to push it up and uh, I'm just gonna pour my epoxy in there and uh, I've got the bottom shimmed you'll see that when I take it apart I've got the bottom shimmed so I can get epoxy underneath so here we go oh yeah so this is just me talking going real fast because I can because YouTube doesn't like when I put audio in files it really really doesn't like it. Tells me that it goes and it wants me to take it off. Blah blah blah. Boom ba 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 boom ba ba ba. That's right. Listening to me. What am I doing? Nobody knows. I'm going real fast. Go fast fast. Um eh yeah. Beep bop be beep 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 boxing's a lot harder than I thought. Yes it is. Ba 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 boop ba boop beep beep ba boom 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 ba beep ba boom ba boom ba boom beep boom ba 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 boop ba beep boo boom 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 ba boom boom. If anybody wants to supply me some music that's not copyright, I would like to use it. Ba 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 ba. Alrighty then. One hour. Oh yeah, we're going fast. Fast, 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 again, again, again. We're going so fast, I don't know what to do because I'm already done. I'm done with it, I'm done with it, I'm done with it. Did that rhyme? Seriously though, here we go. Ah. On this thing. So far so good. Let it sit like that and uh, cure overnight. Alright, so here's what the coils look like. Um, I am satisfied with them. I've never done encapsulating epoxy or anything like that, so I'm satisfied. Um, they probably could have turned out better, but I've learned a few lessons, and next time I do this, I'll have a much better understanding of what to and what not to do. So now we can play with some coils on the popper and hopefully gain some uh, efficiencies. Awesome sauce. Alrighty. So, I have here a four inch plastic PVC lid with a clear top that I have made for my other chamber. I'm just going to set it on top of this device. And I'm going to charge it 350 volts and fire. Watch. But, you can see the uh, amount of force that that took to uh, move that cap. That's pretty interesting. Fire in the hole. Alright, hold on. So, you guys have seen this picture, and you may be wondering what in the heck it is. Well... First of all, yes, I'm staring into that bright light, but I do have UV protection glasses on, so I'm fine. Um, and I believe I had my eyes closed. But, uh, interestingly, this clip, uh, right here that you see as a picture, basically is the, uh, a one, uh, what is it? It's a cup. It's a one-quart cup. Alright, now, I debated to myself for a long time, well, for a couple days at least, um, whether or not I should even put this video uh, in the series, but I went ahead and did it anyway. 
Now, what you need to know is this video is me late, late at night, a little slap happy, okay, a lot slap happy, and um, I couldn't stop laughing, and it was hilarious, and uh, it was funny to me because I just, I, I, I was blown away by the amount of force and or how fast this item moved. So, I'm just going to play out all this footage. I don't have time to edit it right now, so you guys get to just see all of it. And, yeah, so it's pretty interesting. And, uh, once again, I did this uh, for learning purposes. I really, did, I actually did learn quite a bit on this, but at the same time, I just kept doing it because it was hilarious. So, don't, uh, don't freak out. Professionalism isn't near as fun as just having fun. So that's what it's about. Learning, teaching, and having fun. And believe me, I was having fun. So you're more than welcome to laugh all you want, cry all you want. Uh, if you do uh, get mad about these clips because I'm just kind of playing around, yeah, you need to smile a little. Give somebody a hug. I'll give you a hug. You want a hug? All right, let's get started. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that is great fun. Having a blast. <laughs> I hit the ceiling so hard. Okay, so the cup is lighter. The cup that I'm using here is lighter than than the other thing that I had. It's just a one quarter cup. All right. So here we go. There's 350 volts. <laughs> set it upright <laughs> so you see if it makes a difference <laughs> oh my goodness that alone is very interesting oh wow all right 350 volts <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man that's pretty interesting well, how much, how much force is that? You think? Here, let's try, let's try a lower voltage. Let's only try a hundred volts. All right, so that's a hundred volts. Let's go with uh, one fifty. Actually, that gave a pretty good punch right at 200. That might give me some clues. We'll go to 250. <laughs> All right. Let's let's go to 300. <laughs> 300 volts. Bring it up to 350. Oh, the camera, the video cut out over there. Let's go to three, 350. I'll fix my video. All right, 350 volts. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, there you go. That's what that kind of power does in just air. Interesting. I guess I'll do it some more. Good. Back. I'm gonna do it again. Are you ready? Let's see if the camera works. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what, that is hitting my ceiling very hard. It's <laughs> cool. 
<laughs> in the trash can. Oh, the camera did the camera. The camera didn't see it right there in the trash can. Hilarious. I did not launch any mice in this face yet. I could launch some cockroaches and probably find some of those around here. Well, I guess we should stick a soda can in there with it to see what happens, huh? How about a monster? I should probably try to get some of this off the top. Empty soda can. 300 volts. <laughs> oh, I'm having way too much fun. That is pretty incredible. The amount of force that that has is interesting all by itself. And I know, I know that the helium has more force than that, so I wonder how I could fill this up with helium and be able to do that experiment. Let's see if there's even more force. And here, let me get the live footage camera over here a little better so you can actually see this. Because this is hilarious. Alright, three intervals. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm having way too much fun. <laughs> oh, I, hit, I thought I hit the charge button and I hit the, uh, the camera still on. I, I actually hit the fire button. Now, I want to stand over here and actually like really watch it. Because I can't really, can't really see it, how fast it's moving. We'll hook up the remote button. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm having too much fun. This is fantastic. <laughs> uh, we'll do it again. Okay, I'm learning a lot right now, by the way. This is for the, in the name of science, so you know. Oh man. This is great. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> oh, yes. I am having fun now. This is what I'm talking about. I knew there was something about this I was missing. I now see what I'm missing. It's a popper. Get it? Again, you ask? All right, if you insist. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm done. I've had enough. I can't handle it. Two monster cans. And a plastic container to give me on a flat lid. <laughs> I'm gonna stand back for this one. In case this can flies off there and hits me in the head. Fire. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am learning a lot right now, in case you guys <laughs> have no idea, I'm learning that, uh, <laughs> I'm learning that this is a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, well, it's worth every penny, let me tell you, this is like an amusement park. You gotta pay a lot to get in, but once you're in, you have a lot of fun waiting in lines. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, alright, time to actually do something with some gas, because this is great. I love it. Alrighty, so there is the clips. They are quite funny. But uh, all in all, I think uh, the, the one thing that you guys need to know is that the tungsten electrodes are vaporizing in standard air um, with that kind of power. So what I think is actually ha happening there is you get a lot of expansion from the vaporized metal 
and all, of course, you get some plasma, and that's definitely got some force to it. But vaporizing metal is definitely something we need to rule out. So by using less and less uh, capacitance, power, less joules, basically, um, we can uh, overcome the vaporizing theory. So, more work to be done. I do have the half of the... Well, I got about 95% of the bottle rolling jig done. I'll make a totally separate video for that. And peace out. Have a good day. Leave a comment. Go over to the forums, open-source-energy.org and rwgresearch.com. Make sure you check out everything there. Um, a lot of the information that I don't get around to posting on videos right away, I do happen to get on the forum. So have fun. Peace out. This is Russ. See ya.